So I can't believe how wrong this project has gone. So we've made a couple of videos now about this 11 inch MacBook Air that we're trying to use in today's day and age. We've discovered that, yeah, it runs a bit hot, but it's still a nice, comparable, well-made, you know, still modern looking machine and it should be reused. So the plan was to install Linux on this as other people have done before. And I thought, oh, this will be easy. I've installed Linux before. That should be easy. No, it was not. Yes, Linux is on here, but it doesn't work as it should. And I'm going to take you through the tales of everything I've done. I don't know how this video is going to go. Stay along for the ride and we'll find out. So during the process of trying to get Linux running on this machine, we've tried a few different variations. We've tried Linux Mint. We've tried Ubuntu, Lubuntu, and Manjaro. The best out of them seems to be Ubuntu, but we'll get into that. So for my Linux shenanigans, I thought I'm going to get another drive just in case you know we'll, we'll increase the storage so i ended up with a 256 gigabyte ssd as you probably know the ones for the mac like every apple thing is proprietary so you have to find one that's been used before but this is the one that was originally in it. it's the 128 i'm not opening the macbook air up to show you the other one but yeah this was the original drive so we installed a 256 gigabyte ssd it only had about 3000 it's just under three it's like 2800 power on hours so it was still in good condition there's no problem with the reads or writes or anything like that we installed linux on a bootable usb you know drive just like any other standard the installation is pretty simple really the problem first started the operating system i installed first was linux mint i thought i like mint i've used it before on other older laptops and things and it's worked fine for me so let's install linux mint and get it on so one of the problems i was having with linux mint is it kept crashing everything would work fine but it kept crashing during installation even on the laptop i couldn't figure out why it probably took six times for me to actually get a complete installation on the drive it's on the laptop itself and i I just couldn't understand why i thought oh maybe it's just an apple thing or something like that since i've never installed linux on an apple product before i've always done it on like windows machines we got through that and we finally got it installed get it set up you know downloading a few applications to test see how it runs and we were hitting problems straight away so one of the first problems i discovered with this macbook was that you couldn't um that the fans weren't really being controlled by the by the operating system so the problem with the operating system was i had to install an application called mbp fan which it worked fine you had to install it i didn't i thought the operating system would just do that out the box that's why i went with like a mainstream release to begin with so we got mbp fan installed and yeah the fan started controlling because obviously with these as we've discovered in the previous videos heat is a real problem when it comes to the macbook air line just because it's intel based yeah you know, it's this thin laptop there's not a lot of space in there for cooling and we've only got the one tiny fan so we needed to make sure the cooling was done properly but so i thought oh must have solved that issue now and then it kept crashing i thought the first crash probably just related to heat because it was so hot so once it's there we installed the fan got the fans working the cooling working properly and it still kept crashing when i tried to do stuff and sometimes it would just lock up but it wouldn't be like it wouldn't just crash in the same spot or the same program each time sometimes it'd crash on lot sometimes it would like crash just downloading something and that's where the issue really comes in i'll show you some content that i filmed on about mint i think i did it in my hand so it's not the best but yeah we'll go from there so here we are with linux mint installed on the macbook here i'm just going to show you what it did so we lock in and it'll just freeze up anywhere just during any point of it like it's frozen on the login screen we've got past that so let's say like we try and install the updates because it's got a few updates we can install so we install these and give it a second so what was happening was i would be using the system it'd be fine you know but then it would just freeze and it'll freeze somewhere along the line it freezes in different spots as well so it's typical as i turn on the camera right now since they're working more than it was yesterday but when i was installing i used this own um, geoxia you no know, usb drive i used unit booting to flash the oh, sorry guys i used the unit booting to create the um, usb and they all seem to work fine except it did keep freezing like the installation the image worked fine but like during the installation on the macbook it seemed to freeze a lot i have to turn it off start it again and it wouldn't work like right now it's not even really downloading this and if we go to our task manager you can see the system's not really being taxed i thought maybe it could be that the operating system was maybe too much for it or we try to do too much but as you can see you know currently 
you know, CPU is not really going over 20%. Used memory is not even going over a gig. I don't see what the issue is. I'm just going to cancel this. It doesn't seem to be working properly. So let's go and try one of the other things that I tried. I was trying to open Steam and Steam seemed to have a problem as well. Or I'm wondering if the other thing is, I'm wondering if it's heat. I'm wondering if heat was maybe the issue. Now that I'm thinking, because I've had this off for like the last, you know, it's been off for about that last day, you know, so it's been off for about 20 hours since last time I touched this. I'm actually beginning to wonder now if it's the heat that was the problem, as it seems to be, it seems to be working fine now. There doesn't seem to be any issues. I mean, let's have a look at Task Manager. So yeah, we're not like, I know it's like 50% there, but it's not that, but click. Christ. And we're not really going over two gigs, so we're not really using more than half of the system. But I'm wondering if it's a temperature problem, maybe that's why it was crashing. But it also crashed this morning. I tried it before I went to work just to see if it would work. And it didn't. And because of these crashes and the instability, I'm going to install Lubuntu, which seems to be a much lighter weight operating system. Even though this seems to be working now. Because it was working for ages yesterday, and then all of a sudden it just stopped. So I'm going to try Lubuntu, I think. Even though this is working, I don't think it's going to be valid for much longer. I don't know. I don't like the undependability of that. So I'm going to try Lubuntu. So after the adventures in Mint, I thought, well, it's got Lubuntu. Maybe at the time, I thought me, it's, um, Mint is a bit too intense for this map, but as it's older, of course. So I thought Lubuntu, it's a lightweight version of Ubuntu. I kind of like the idea of that. That worked, and it did seem to work well, and it worked, but... As all these things happen, it installed perfectly, but then it just, it would work, and then it wouldn't, it would freeze, and then I was getting a bit disheartened, so we tried Ubuntu, and Ubuntu, once again, would work well, until it started freezing, and at this time, I was starting to, you know, I was googling around, reading some Reddit posts about, like, you know, people's max crashing on um linux i thought oh, that's weird well you know maybe i will try and i tried some other things i also looked at the drivers on ubuntu because i thought maybe at this point i was thinking it was a wi-fi issue so you know something not right with the wi-fi and it crashes the system for some reason because it always seems to happen when there's a lot of intense wi-fi stuff so like downloading and stuff like that that was part of the reason when uh, the installations of linux were happening and i'd have the wi-fi connected to download the updates and all the other little bits of software that would come with it that's when it would crash if we did the installation without wi-fi it wouldn't crash so i thought well <laughs> Maybe it's like a Debian thing. So I'm not too versed in Linux. I know enough to use it. I know enough to get around and probably daily drive it. So I thought, right, let's try Arch. You know, I don't know much about Arch. I think it's the hard, more hardcore version of Linux. So I thought, well, we'll install Manjaro. We'll see how that goes. I know it's a bit bleeding edge. Weirdly, Manjaro worked really well, like when it was on the USB environment. But when I installed it, it was just, it worked okay. It was just a bit too much. I think that was definitely too bleeding edge for this. It looked nice. I'll give it that. I've never used Manjaro before. It worked on here. It installed, but it, it just wasn't good. It wasn't like a great experience. I think it's just because it's too old. So I saw a video on YouTube of someone installing Linux on an older MacBook. Similar time, and they had an install about Wi-Fi not working. I was like, huh. Okay, so we'll install Linux again, and we'll go through all these commands. And yeah, we installed it. Did everything they did. Installed these extra drivers, and they thought, oh, cracked it now. <laughs> I've had an issue for ages and then all of a sudden it starts crashing again so i'll show you what i've got on here you know this because it does work and it works to an extent it just doesn't work well and i wouldn't call it reliable and i wouldn't recommend it if it keeps crashing but the 2011 model other people were having issues so i'm getting to think it's just something to do with the hardware in here maybe it's because it's like a I don't know, a niche Wi-Fi card or something. Or it's something Apple, you know, like... Because Apple loves a good pre preparatory connector. Something like that, I'm guessing, is the reason why it wouldn't work. But let's go down and have a look anyways. And maybe it'll happen on, like, why I'm videoing. Because part of the problem is, it's like, it'll work for a bit. And then it won't work. And it's so infuriating. Can't class this as reliable when it does that. So this is Ubuntu installed on the MacBook Air. So one of the things I did want to talk about was I did install this application here once it had a sensor indicator. And the reason I have this is because I just always like to check that the 
fans are gonna work when you know when the systems and load needs to cool because that was a problem that I thought we were well, it's a problem that happens with this because you have to install an MVP fan and that's not great. So some of the stuff I was testing on this was just doing some Linuxy stuff. Um then the applications that I actually have installed. Not too much because the problem was you would start downloading something. So let's open Steam. Let's see if it'll crash. Yeah, I thought, oh we'll download some games to play on Steam. Which that, that's a test, that's something everyone wants to kind of see, a bit of relaxing time on the old Steam. Um other than that, the, you know, when you bun to works on this machine it works well like you know you can go onto youtube it works absolutely fine it's a little bit slow but i believe this is my internet more than this thing so as you can see you can certainly surf the web you still enjoy a bit of youtube on here and that all works fine you know like a lot of this stuff does work it's just these crashes i hate that. i feel like it's tested me it's just these crashes that make the system unusable because other than that it does work fine things are you know they, they work in a timely manner as you can probably tell you can maybe hear maybe able to hear the fans around a bit now that does become a bit taxing when you start doing a few little things as you open a few different windows and stuff it certainly starts to you know use my utilities wrap the fans up a little bit so it does get a little bit loud other than that it, it works fine <laughs> it works fine till it doesn't work fine when it's in this state perfectly usable i'm trying to figure out what else i could show, <laughs> show you during this stage of course you don't be doing anything too productive like we said like on the very first video with this when we had it on mac os the whole point of this was to turn it into something that's a bit more usable with you know better updates and security because of course when you're using a older laptop or an older operating system should i say the security does become a little bit of an issue and with updating to linux you're going to get some more modern security and hopefully some better utilization of the resources that you have i really want this thing to crash on camera and it's, it's beginning to annoy me the day <laughs> it isn't that's its biggest downfall right there is is the crashing so i can't really recommend it when it's unstable one thing i would like to say about ubuntu is or especially anyone that's thinking about installing lubuntu is that closing the lid on a laptop i always thought that would just work on every distro i didn't think that would be something i'd have to set up something i'd actually have to worry about on lubuntu you had to put it into hibernate or something or suspend close the lid you couldn't just shut the lid and it would lock or whatever you want to call it which wasn't great <laughs> so other than when it isn't crashing the up oh, <laughs> there it is there it is yeah you can see my finger is on there the mouse cursor is here this is exactly what i was on about <laughs> it crashed on camera it only took quite a few minutes there that's the thing and it seems to be something to do with internet it's just when you're pushing the systems something to the internet I don't really know if any of you guys have something. I'd love to get this fixed or download something. Online, I've looked. Someone suggested um, downgrading the kernel to like 5.10 or something, but I couldn't really see a reliable way to do that. So, Dan, what is the solution? I don't think there is one. You know, other Macs have Linux installed and they work perfectly. I don't know if it's a hardware fault on this computer. Everything looked clean though. Like, I don't think anyone had been in there. No one's replaced the battery other than when we went there. I don't think it's the SSD that I changed. I just don't see how that would be the problem. I had a look at the health of the SSD before, you know, when I got it and the health seemed good. But other than that, I just don't know what, what else I can do with this. And sometimes as well, if it's, um, if there's like audio playing or... The fans of it just really keep spinning out on the audio like be like a second and it'll be, you know back and forth but, uh, but it'll be like that so yeah so what's the answer i don't know you know maybe you guys can help me because i like this form factor i like the 11 inches i like repurposing this old technology to use it for something else but like i said unreliable all i can say is i have another one this one is a bit bigger this is a 13 inch so this is the 13 inch macbook air that i recently bought because it was annoying me but this one you can tell it's still crashed because the lights on and it's short like what the hell so i ended up buying another macbook air this is a 13 inch this is going to be its own video it's not a 2011 there's a kind of a funny story to this one but this one works fine this one works fine out of the box with the fans this thing just works straight out of the box straight out of the box plugged it in you know flashed it it works great i don't know what the issue is i don't know if it's a hardware fault if there's a way to check for a hardware fault i couldn't find it i searched online about 2011 Over 
other people have had this issue, which is what makes me think it's maybe a hardware, some sort of hardware error. But yeah, real deal. It's still, still frozen or crashed or whatever. But yeah, what do you guys think of this fail of a, you know, Oh, it's just turned back on. This fail of a project. Let me know in the comments below and we'll come back over time with this one. When I've fully like customized it and everything, we'll talk about this one in the future. Like, comment, subscribe guys, and I'll see you next time.